The French Republican calendar, also commonly called the French Revolutionary calendar was a calendar created and implemented during the French Revolution, and used by the French government for about 12 years from late 1793 to 1805, and for 18 days by the Paris Commune in 1871. The revolutionary system was designed in part to remove all religious and royalist influences from the calendar, and was part of a larger attempt at decimalization in France. Overview and Origins Precursor Sylvain Marekel, prominent anti-clerical atheist, published the first edition of his Almanac des Honnêtes Gens in 1788. On pages 14-15 appears a calendar, consisting of 12 months. The first month is Mars, our princeps. The last month is Favrier, our duo de comba. Through December are already numeric names. Although in the wrong order in both the Julian and the Gregorian calendar since the Romans changed the first month of a year from March to January, the lengths of the months are the same. However, the 10th, 20th and 30th are singled out of each month as the end of a decade. Individual days were assigned instead of to the traditional saints. To people noteworthy for mostly secular achievements, December 25th is assigned to both Jesus and Newton. Later editions of the Almanac would switch to the Republican calendar. History The days of the French Revolution and Republic saw many efforts to sweep away various trappings of the ancient regime. Some of these were more successful than others. The new Republican government sought to institute, among other reforms, a new social and legal system, a new system of weights and measures, and a new calendar. Amid nostalgia for the ancient Roman Republic, the theories of the Enlightenment were at their peak, and the devisers of the new systems looked to nature for their inspiration. Natural constants, multiples of 10, and Latin as well as old Greek derivations formed the fundamental blocks from which the new systems were built. The new calendar was created by a commission under the direction of the politician Charles Gilbert Romer, seconded by Claude Joseph Ferrian, Charles Francois Dupuis. They associated with their work the chemist Louis Bernard Guite and de Morveau, the mathematician and astronomer Joseph Louis Lagrange, the astronomer Joseph Jérôme Le François de Lalande, the mathematician Gaspard Monge, the astronomer and naval geographer Alexandre Guy Pingray, and the poet, actor and playwright Fabre d'Eglantine, who invented the names of the months with the help of André Doan. Gardner at the Jardin des Plantes of the Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle in Paris. As the rapporteur of the commission, Charles Gilbert Romer presented the new calendar to the Jacobin controlled National Convention on 23 September 1793, which adopted it on 24 October 1793 and also extended it proleptically to its epoch of 22 September 1792. It is because of his position as rapporteur of the commission that the creation of the Republican calendar is attributed to Roma. The calendar is often called the French Revolutionary Calendar because it was created during the Revolution, but this is somewhat of the misnomer. Indeed, there was initially a debate as to whether the calendar should celebrate the Great Revolution, which began in July 1789, or the Republic which was established in 1792. Immediately following the 14th of July 1789, papers and pamphlets started calling 1789 Year I of Liberty and the following years 2 and 3. It was in 1792, with the practical problem of dating financial transactions, that the Legislative Assembly was confronted with the problem of the calendar. Originally, the choice of epoch was either the 1st of January 1789 or the 14th of July 1789. After some hesitation, the assembly decided on the 2nd of January 1792 that all official documents would use the era of liberty and that the year IV of liberty started on the 1st of January 1792. This usage was modified on the 22nd of September 1792 when the Republic was proclaimed and the Convention decided that all public documents would be dated. Year I of the French Republic 
The decree of 2 January 1793 stipulated that the year two of the Republic began on 1 January 1793. This was revoked with the introduction of the new calendar, which set the 22nd of September 1793 as the beginning of year two. The establishment of the Republic was used as the epochal date for the calendar. Therefore, the calendar commemorates the Republic, not the Revolution. In France, it is known as the Calendrier Républicain, as well as the Calendrier Révolutionnaire. The revolution is usually considered to have ended with the coup of 18 Brumaire in year 8. The French Republic ended with the coronation of Napoleon I as Emperor des Français on 11 Frimaire, year 13, a little more than a year before the calendar did. The Concordat of 1801 re-established officially the Roman Catholic Church as state cult in France with effect from Easter Sunday 18 April 1802, restoring the names of the days of the week with the ones they had in the Gregorian calendar, while keeping the rest of the Republican calendar, and fixing Sunday as the official day of rest and religious celebration. French coins of the period naturally used this calendar. Many show the year in Arabic numbers, although Roman numerals were used on some issues. Year 11 coins typically have her she date to avoid confusion with the Roman too. Napoleon finally abolished the calendar with effect from 1 January 1806, a little over 12 years after its introduction. However, it was used again during the brief Paris Commune, 6-23 May 1871. Some legal texts that were adopted when the Republican calendar was officially in use are still in force in France and other nations or territories, which at the time were incorporated into revolutionary France, such as present-day Belgium, Luxembourg and the German territories to the west of the Rhine River. These documents have kept their original dates for legal accuracy and citation purposes. Calendar design years appear in writing as Roman numerals, with epoch the 22nd of September 1792, the beginning of the Republican era. As a result, Roman numeral I indicates the first year of the Republic, that is, the year before the calendar actually came into use. By law, the beginning of each year was set at midnight, beginning on the day the apparent autumnal equinox falls at the Paris Observatory. There were 12 months, each divided into three 10-day weeks called decades. The 10th day, Decade E, replaced Sunday as the day of rest and festivity. The five or six extra days needed to approximate the solar or tropical year were placed after the months at the end of each year and called complementary days. A period of four years ending on a leap day was to be called a franchada. The name Olympique was originally proposed but changed to franchada to commemorate the fact that it had taken the revolution four years to establish a republican government in France. The leap year was called sextile, an allusion to the bisextile leap years of the Julian and Gregorian calendars, because it contained a sixth complementary day. Decimal time each day in the Republican calendar was divided into 10 hours, each hour into 100 decimal minutes, and each decimal minute into 100 decimal seconds. Thus an hour was 144 conventional minutes, a minute was 86.4 conventional seconds, and a second was 0.864 conventional seconds. Clocks were manufactured to display this decimal time, but it did not catch on. Mandatory use of decimal time was officially suspended 7 April 1795, although some cities continued to use decimal time as late as 1801. Months. The Republican calendar year began the day the autumnal equinox occurred in Paris, and had 12 months of 30 days each, which were given new names based on nature, principally having to do with the prevailing weather in and around Paris. Autumn. Vendée in French, starting 22, 23, or the 24th of September Brumaire, starting 22, 23, or the 24th of October Frimaire, starting 21, 22, or the 23rd of November.
winter, Nivos, starting 21-22, or the 23rd of December, Pluviosa, starting 20-21, or the 22nd of January, Ventos, starting 19-20, or the 21st of February, spring, Germinal, starting 20 or the 21st of March, Florale, starting 20 or the 21st of April, Prairial, starting 20 or the 21st of May. Summer, Messidor, starting 19 or the 20th of June, Thermidor, starting 19 or the 20th of July, Fructidor, starting 18 or the 19th of August. Note, on many printed calendars of year 2, the month of Thermidor was named Furthidor. Most of the month names were new words coined from French, Latin, or Greek. The endings of the names are grouped by season. Dor means giving in Greek. In Britain, a contemporary witter mocked the Republican calendar by calling the months wheezy, sneezy and freezy, slippy, drippy and nippy, showery, flowery and bowery, hoppy, croppy and poppy. The Scottish historian Thomas Carlyle suggested somewhat a more serious English names in his 1837 work The French Revolution, a history, namely Vintagarius, Fogarius, Frostarius, Snowis, Rainus, Windus, Buddle, Flowerall, Meadowill, Reapidor, Heatador, and Fruitador. Like the French originals, they suggest a meaning related to the season but are neologisms, rather than pre-existing words. Words. Ten days of the week. The month is divided into three decades or weeks of ten days each, named simply Primidi, Duodi, Tridi, Cortidi, Quintidi, Sextidi, Septidi, Octidi, Nonidi, Decadi. Decades were abandoned in Flore or Linux. Rural calendar. The Catholic Church used the calendar of saints, which named each day of the year after an associated saint, to reduce the influence of the church. Fabra d'Eglantine introduced a rural calendar in which each day of the year had a unique name associated with the rural economy, stated to correspond to the time of year. Every decade he was named after an agricultural tool. Each quintide was named for a common animal. The rest of the days were named for grain, pasture, trees, roots, flowers, fruits, and other plants, except for the first month of winter, nivos, during which the rest of the days were named after minerals. Autumn, winter, spring, summer of complementary days. Five extra days, six in leap years, were national holidays at the end of every year. These were originally known as Les Sans Curlotides, but after year three as Les Jeux Complementaires. First complementary day, La Fête de la Virtue, celebration of virtue, on 17 or the 18th of September. Second complementary day, La Fête du Guenny, celebration of talent, on 18 or the 19th of September. Third complementary day, La Fête de Travail, celebration of labor, on 19 or the 20th of September. Fourth complementary day, La Fête de l'Opinion, celebration of convictions, on 20 or the 21st of September. Fifth complementary day, La Fête des Recompenses, celebration of honors, on 21 or the 22nd of September. Sixth complementary day, La Fête de la Révolution, celebration of the revolution, on 22 or the 23rd of September, converting from the Gregorian calendar. Below are the Gregorian dates each Republican year began while the calendar was in effect. Leap year extra day added at end of year. The calendar was abolished in the year 14. After this date, opinions seem to differ on the method by which the leap years would have been determined if the calendar were still in force. There are at least four hypotheses used to convert dates from the Gregorian calendar. The leap years would continue to vary in order to ensure that each year the autumnal equinox in Paris falls on one vendamia, as was the case from year I to year 14. This is the only method that was ever in legal effect, although it means that sometimes five years pass between leap years such as the years 15 and 20. Leap years would have fallen on each year divisible by four, except most century years, according to Rommer's proposed fixed rules.
This would have simplified conversions between the Republican and Gregorian calendars since the Republican leap day would usually follow a few months after the 29th of February. At the end of each year divisible by four, so that the date of the Republican New Year remains the same in the Gregorian calendar for the entire third century of the Republican era. The leap years would have continued in a fixed rule every four years from the last one with the leap day added before, rather than after, each year divisible by four, except most century years. This rule has the advantage that it is both simple to calculate and is continuous with every year in which the calendar was in official use during the First Republic. Some concordances were printed in France after the Republican calendar was abandoned, using this rule to determine dates for a long-term contracts. Beginning with year 20, years divisible by 4 would be leap years, except for years divisible by 128. Note that this rule was first proposed by von Madler, and not until the late 19th century. The date of the Republican New Year remains the same in the Gregorian calendar every year from 129 to 256. The following table shows when several years of the Republican era begin on the Gregorian calendar, according to each of the four above methods. Asterisk leap year extra day added at end of year current date and time. For this calendar, the Roma method of calculating leap years is used. Other methods may differ by one day. Criticism and shortcomings. Leap years in the calendar are a point of great dispute, due to the contradicting statements in the establishing decree stating, each year begins at midnight, with the day on which the true autumnal equinox falls for the Paris Observatory, and the four-year period, after which the addition of a day is usually necessary, is called the Franchada in memory of the revolution which, after four years of effort, led France to Republican government. The fourth year of the Franchada is called sextile. These two specifications are incompatible, as leap years defined by the autumnal equinox in Paris do not recur on a regular four-year schedule. Thus, the years 3, 7, and she were observed as leap years, and the years 15 and XX were also planned as such, even though they were five years apart. A fixed arithmetic rule for determining leap years was proposed in the name of the Committee of Public Education by Gilbert Romer on 19 Flore All and 3. The proposed rule was to determine leap years by applying the rules of the Gregorian calendar to the years of the French Republic except that year. 4000 should be a common year instead of a leap year, because he was shortly after sentenced to the guillotine. This proposal was never adopted and the original astronomical rule continued, which excluded any other fixed arithmetic rule. The proposal was intended to avoid uncertain future leap years caused by the inaccurate astronomical knowledge of the 1790s. In particular, the committee noted that the autumnal equinox of year 144 was predicted to occur at 11.59, 40 p.m. local apparent time in Paris, which was closer to midnight than its inherent 3 to 4 minute uncertainty. The calendar was abolished by an act dated 22 Fructidor and 13 and signed by Napoleon, which referred to a report by Michel Louis Etienne Renaud de Saint Jean d'Angeli and Jean Joseph Mounier, listing two fundamental flaws. The rule for leap years depended upon the uneven course of the sun, rather than fixed intervals so that one must consult astronomers to determine when each year started, especially when the equinox happened close to midnight, as the exact moment could not be predicted with certainty. Both the era and the beginning of the year were chosen to commemorate an historical event which occurred on the first day of autumn in France, whereas the other European nations began the year near the beginning of winter or spring thus being impediments to the calendar's adoption in Europe and America, and even a part of the French nation, where the Gregorian calendar continued to be used, as it was required for religious purposes. The report also noted that the 10-day decade was unpopular and had already been suppressed three years earlier in favor of the seven-day week. 
removing what was considered by some as one of the calendar's main benefits. The 10-day decade was unpopular with laborers because they received only one full day of rest out of 10, instead of one in seven. Although they also got a half day off on the fifth day, it also, by design, conflicted with Sunday religious observances. Another criticism of the calendar was that despite the poetic names of its months, they are tied to the climate and agriculture of metropolitan France and therefore not applicable to France's overseas territories.